Bison Trail Boss 2 Horse Bumper Pull here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is that uh, trusty, rusty, uh, you know, rank and file good soldier of our bumper pull lineup here. Um, extra tall, good for uh, taller animals. Um, you know, it's lightweight because it's all aluminum, not aluminum over steel, and that also adds a lot of longevity to it. These things really work hard. You can work them hard, and they perform very well. It has a lot of nice features on here that's, you know, made them consistently one of the uh, uh, great seller. And this is uh, from Bison, which is the number one producer of living quarter gooseneck trailers in the business today. So you're getting the same kind of build quality and construction and whatnot down here in this bumper pole. Um, you see they have just massive diamond plates up front. I mean, you know, compare that to over here. You see it's a, at least a foot taller. And there's nothing wrong with the diamond plate over here. This is just way more of it. And on the Venos here, that'll let you really jackknife a turn if you're in a bad spot or you're having trouble loading somewhere. Um, the uh, uh, feeders here, drop down feeder doors with easy handles. You see they slide up and down. And uh, they do have the safety gates inside as well. So your horse isn't going to stick its head out the window going down the road and have a really unfortunate accident. Um, we like to put swinging doors on these. Uh, sometimes we will put a ramp. And this is a good time to mention. This video, uh, it, it may vary slightly from the actual unit we have in stock. The one we have in stock might have, say, like a, a champagne colored skin or black or white like you see here. This is to show you kind of how a two horse uh, trail boss is laid out. Not necessarily uh, here to show you exactly what the single two horse uh, trail boss is like. You know, we can customize a lot of different things on these. Like this one, you see we have put in a fully collapsible all aluminum two horse saddle tree. You could have one built without that if you want the extra space or you want to save the money. Like I said, you could put a ramp door on these. You could do a lot of things. This is generally how we will build and equip them, but it's not to say they're all going to be that way. Look at all the cross members they have on the roof. Uh, I have actually seen uh, in, in uh, uh, photo form, a, uh, they set one of these bisons upside down and its roof structure held. God forbid you have a catastrophic accident on the road, there's a real good chance this thing will hold its shape enough to keep your animals safe. But, you know, beyond being a little spooked, they should be okay. There's a really good chance of it. Um, at this price point, it's really shocking how much detail they do put in. You see that they do have the nice padding all over the place in here. But you notice on your kick plates, they have uh, these little rub bars on top so that your horse can't rub against it and get a sore spot. Um, the, the kick plate stuff here, is like twice as thick. That's pretty incredible. I mean, if you have uh, a horse that's like a little bit of bottled lightning, they can really stomp this thing, and there's a good chance it'll just continue to perform for years and years and years. Um, I like that this is just easy one hand uh, operation here, you know, so that you don't have to take your hand off of your lead. You can keep a hold of your horse. You're gonna see lots of extra tie downs, cheaper brands, they start to shrink down on things like tie downs and like the safety gates for your horse's head. Um, you know, you, you give up stuff like that. Even the flooring here is the same flooring they use in their goosenecks. It's easier for them and it's better for you to just keep using the same high quality flooring than stock one low quality floor, one high quality floor. It just doesn't make sense. Um, uh, butt side windows do open for cross breeze, so you can get some good airflow through here. Uh, I like little things like they have marker lights amidships, meaning marker lights in the middle of the trailer. Even on a little two horse bumper pole, they still add nice stuff like that. RV style door here to the dresser, and the dresser is actually quite large. I like that they leave a vent up there for uh, air, but you see that you've got a lot of room in here. They keep your spare tire all tucked away. Uh, you know, this is, like I said, just a good rank and file, good soldier, and again, I'm 6'3", you see all the extra room above my head. Uh, these are, I think, 7'6 tall, they're extremely tall. And you can see that even up here, they uh, they put like almost that kick plate lining just to help reinforce this front wall from wind. And you see all the extra cross members up here. Start looking at other bumper poles with dressers and you're going to find a lot fewer studs up here. These are maybe 12 inches apart. 16 inch studs is pretty good. 12 inches is extreme. And that's what they put in a bumper pole. And notice, they are fully welded. They're welded all the way around. It's not spot welded. These are made to last. They're made to perform and they're made to stay in your driveway and in use and not come back for service. And that's why I like them. Give us a call at 800 256 5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy trails.